good morning all in this video we will talk about liskov's substitution principle which comes under solid principle so we will see this pattern with a real time example subscribe the channel to get more update in programming languages take an example this is a parent class and this is a child class the substitution meaning that this class child class can be substitutable for parent class object this is a very simple the child class can be sus substitution with parent class object let's in the such a way we need to design our programming so let's see with a practical example for substitution principle I have created a demo demo C programming in C sharp to demonstrate the substitution principle. Take an example. This is a class, simple class, which read log file, inform log information from text file. So this class, I declared a virtual method. So read log file, which read some information from log log information from text file. So The, as i declared virtual this can extends this behavior in derived classes so i declare another classes read log example read log so i override the behavior here so this this will read a information from text file and this class will read the information from xml file and we can see one more class read log from flat file read log flat so i i extended the behavior but here i did not override the behavior so i declare a new function get flat flat file log so which read the information from flat file so we can execute the demo demo program on this sequence let's see the output and and we will uh, and we'll see how to apply substitution principle here so this is the console application this is the main file here so here for example so the read log the instance i have created so this is a sample variable i have declared here if it is i hard coded text file if the input this variable is a text file i am creating the instance for read log if it is xml xml file i am creating instance for read log xml so here this is a child class this instance will be substituted to the parent class read log so you can see the difference whatever I explained previous this is a child class read log xml this instance will be substitutable to the read log this is the parent class so this we can call it as a substitution principle we need to design our programming in such a way it can be substitutable to the parent classes so let's see here input file this is a flat file so here the substitution is not happened see wa what mistake it will happen see let's check here so substitution is not happened because we are not overriding its behavior so even though we can able to call the read log file it will inherit from a base file so let's let's run and set this chick one and see what the mistake in this after that let's see how we need to apply the substitution principle this is the text file first our agenda is to call read log file so okay i'm running going to run the sequence you can see read from text file so our execution is correct i am closing this now so next i am going to change this to xml file so if it is xml file our logic this logic needs to be executed here this is a child class this is a parent class this class is instance is substitutable to the parent class so here let's run and check the sequence so here you can see read log from xml file so this looks fine so 
now let's see the problem on flat file see i'm changing to flat file here so as per business needs this function need to be executed so we i i'm not substituted here i not substituted here but our agenda is if you read flat file means read flat file logic only need to be executed but here you can see what it has been executed see you can see read log from text file will be executed because this object instance is not sorry this read this object this class instance is not substitutable to the parent class so this is a actual problem so let's see how we can solve this so we need to i am correcting here or any see now it can be substitutable this instant can be substitutable to the parent class instant so let's run and check the sequence class output so i'm running here you can see now read log from flat file so this is the one of the design principle here i explained with real time example i hope this video will be very helpful to you thank you for your support